Hey, this is Chris with Hilux Optics. Today we're going to take a look at how to use a ballistic calculator to determine your initial cam setting for the M1000 Pro and the M1200 XLR art scopes. So we're using JBM Ballistics. It's a free ballistic calculator online. You can just go to jbmballistics.com. To access the ballistic calculator, you can click on ballistics on the left sidebar and then click on the first link, trajectory, under general trajectory calculators. This is the JBM ballistics calculator. This is uh, where you input your specific bullet data. Um, you can select a bullet from the bullet library. If it's not there, you can manually enter your bullet data. So the first row, uh, that's where you enter your bullet coefficient, your bullet weight, and your bullet caliber. The second row is uh, where you input your muzzle velocity. The third column is your offsets for how high your sight is compared to your barrel. The fourth row is uh, the wind speed and the wind angle. Fifth row is your target speed and your target height. So this is useful if you're trying to lead a moving target. Sixth row is your zeroing range. So this is important. The art scope requires to be zeroed at a specific zeroing distance. In order to get the ballistics data to be properly calibrated for the scope, you need to make sure that the zero range is set to the specific zero distance of the scope. So for the ART M1000 Pro, it would be a 200 yard zero. For the ART M1200 XLR, it would be a 300 meter zero. The next row is atmospheric conditions, so we're just going to leave it at standard atmospheric pressure and uh, temperature, and uh, we'll leave the altitude at zero. The last row on the bottom has uh, some specific um, settings for the calculator. We're just going to leave them uh, as is. We want our distances to be in yards, so I'm going to leave this unchecked. For our example, we're going to be shooting a 55 grain um, M193 5.56 NATO round out of an AR-15 SBR with an 11 and a half inch barrel. So we're actually going to be shooting the Federal XM193, and I've looked up those uh, the ballistic data. So our ballistic coefficient is 0.246 using the G1 drag coefficient. Um, our muzzle velocity is going to be different than what's listed from the ammo manufacturer. Because our, we're shooting out of an AR-15 SBR with an 11.5 inch barrel, we've actually chronoed the muzzle velocity to be around 2850. So we're going to use 2850 for the muzzle velocity instead of what's listed on the ammo um, from the ammo, ammo manufacturer. So taking that into account, our BC is 0.246. Our, our bullet weight is 55 grains, our caliber is 223, but the actual uh, size is 224. Muzzle velocity is 2850 feet per second. Our sight is uh, roughly 3 inches above the muzzle. This is for the M1000 Pro. We'll leave the wind speed and the target speed all that at the default settings. Not too concerned with this at this time. Zeroing distance is going to be 200 yards, and let's just leave our range increment at 25 yards. We'll keep the pressure and atmosphere, atmospheric pressure at the standard, zero feet for the altitude, and ranges in yards. When you're done, press calculate. Okay, so this is the output that the ballistic calculator had generated. So the first column is the yardages. Uh, the second column is your drop in inches. And the third column is your drop in MOA. This is the output that JBM Ballistics returns after you enter your bullet data. So it shows that we're shooting the 55 grain 223 that's coming out at 2850 feet per second. The first column underneath in the calculated table shows you your ranges in yards. The second column shows you the drop at each distance in inches. The third column shows your drop in radial MOA. The third column is actually the column that we'll be focusing on when we're looking at uh, our initial cam setting. So with this data, compare the drop data at two, uh, each of the distances out to your maximum effective range. To find the initial cam setting for the round that you were shooting, we recommend that you first consider what your maximum effective range will be. So out of a 11 and a half inch SBR in 5.56, I think our maximum effective range for, the, for this will probably be around 500 yards. So we're gonna take a look at this and try to find the best setting in the cam setting chart uh, that fits the trajectory of this round. So 
referring to the trajectory chart in the manual on page 19, uh, we'll, we'll be looking at these columns try, to try to find the setting that best fits the, the, the curve of our the bullet that we're shooting. So looking at 500 yards, uh, we, we need about 12 MOA or 11.9 MOA. So that's pretty close to somewhere right around here. Let's take a look at this setting. So cam setting 330. So at 500 yards, the cam is giving us 12 MOA of adjustment, and we need 11.9. That's pretty. That's fairly close. That's less than a half inch spread. So at 400 yards, we need 6.8, and we're getting 8 from the cam. So that's it's fairly close, uh, about one MOA off, so it would be about four inches off at, or four inch spread at 400 yards, which is still center of mass, still works pretty well. 300, 2.8, giving we're getting three from the cam, that's spot on. And of course, 200 is our zero, so this is zero. So just taking a look at this, a good initial cam setting to start on for, the, for this example um, is cam setting 330. So with this, you can uh, you can initially set your cam, and then um, at the range uh, you can calibrate your cam setting. So as a general rule of thumb, if you're shooting low, adjust the cam setting slightly lower. If you're shooting high, adjust the cam setting slightly higher. For more information on the art scopes, you can go to www.hiluxoptics.com and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this in the future.